Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hexit with myself, Lewis. Hope you're all very, very well. And it is very eerie in here with this music. <laughs> I thought I'd kind of set the feel for the morning. I've only just woken up and it's actually, uh, yeah, it's uh, not very bright and uh, fun, but it's, I guess it's music, nonetheless. <laughs> now today, I want to go doing something really different. We spoke about it in the last episode. We're going to go and get ourselves some chocobos. Yeah, I want to get myself a chocobo mount, and I want to ride into battle on one of these guys, because, you know, going in with all really cool gear and stuff is, is good, but... Um, it's not as good if you go in looking fashionably cool, and I think if you go in on a chocobo, then uh, you look extremely badass and very, very cool. So at least if we die, then uh, it's not that bad, I guess, because we came in on a chocobo, so yeah. Now, we want to have a place to home them, don't we? Because if we have the chocobos, then we want to make sure that they're, they're happy and uh, well-fed and all this good stuff, so... We need to make them a home before we do anything, and to do this we need to make a couple of things. You need to supply them with a few things, just the basic requirements. But what we're going to do is we're going to take some wood from here. There we go. Very, very nice. Ooh, that split up, didn't it? Yeah. And, oh, my music stopped. Oh, my music bag. Yeah, even how horrible and dark it is, it's still music. Now, what we're going to do with these guys is we're going to make like a little pen for them. But we need a, some ground for these guys to lay on. And to do this, we need some wheat. Yeah. Now, if you get wheat and you go like this, you get yourself some straw. And if we uh, double this up, now we want quite a bit of the stuff, so I think I have some growing outside. I also want to show you a little trick. So, if we get ourselves some iron, yeah, and I think we might need sticks. Let's have a gander, shall we? So we want to build a scythe, and this is from Harkin Scythe's mod. Now, if we take a iron scythe, for instance, yeah, and we do this, we can make a scythe. Now, these guys are actually mainly used for collecting souls. Uh, yeah, as horrible as that sounds, yes, and you can do many things with souls. Um, that's dependent on the route you take with Harkin Scythe. So we can either be a soul reaver, or we can go around collecting uh, blood, which is a bit kind of gross, but yeah. But the reason I want this guy is if you hold down your right trigger on uh, these guys, it actually doubles the amount of wheat that you get from it. So you can see we uh, did two and we got four. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. And that gives us, oh, let me pick it up, eight. Yeah, and we get all our seeds. But bing There we go. Let's throw these guys down and we will uh, turn these into straw. It gives us 48. Might be enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can just plant all these bits down there. I want the, uh, yeah, his little home's going to be around in this corner here. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, right, so his little house is going to be around here. I think this is a good place. Let's try and get it a little bit even so that he uh, can uh, live in style, because he is a boss like that. And uh, we might just do this side just so I can have it looking a little bit more even, otherwise it will hurt me. <laughs> you know, Minecraft and all that, if my thing shoes off, I just can't do it. It isn't going to happen. Now, we want to lay down some straw. Now, we're going to put it along the back, so let's go like this. And we're probably going to need more than what we've got, but that's not too bad, that would do. Yeah, we'll put some at the front here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. And should we put some more here? Yeah, for our chocobos. We'll just finalise it a little bit like that. Now, this is where they're going to lay. And, uh, well, they don't lay. They stand continuously for their whole life. But this is where they would lay if they could lay. <laughs> and what they're going to do is uh, they're just going to chill in there. And uh, they're going to do... They're going to have a nice time. But we need to make sure that it's looking very chocobo-ish. And uh, for that, you do need this stuff. Now, let's go ahead and grab these and make a nice little pen for them. Yeah, and we're going to get rid of this corner here. And you're probably going to think, Lewis, why are you getting rid of that corner? Well, I'll show you, but just not yet. You're just going to have to wait, because that's, uh, we have to play the waiting game. Now let's fill all these gaps in. There we go. Brilliant. And we'll come out across the top. So you can build this as big as you like. It's completely your choice. But I'm going this size, because that is how I roll. Yeah. All right, let's get rid of you. And we'll bring you across. And we'll get rid of you and bring you across. Yeah, I like it. This looks like it could be amazing. And I would like to fill the top in. If we got enough wood to do that, we might do. I don't know. Let's have a look. Hmm. Very questionable. Yeah, we got enough. We be looking pretty good. 
Yeah. All right, so let's turn the rest of these guys into sticks. We can do that with our uh, workbench backpack. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do this. There we go, 64 with the bad boys. And this might be enough. I'm not too sure. But I just want to make it look a little bit nice. You know, if you're going to have all the chocobos, then uh, we might as well give them a really nice home just to chill out in. So we'll do this. Oh, oh I did a bad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I like it. And they better like it as well, because it looks good to me. There we go. Right, we'll throw you guys like that. And you like that. Oh, I've ran out. Actually, it's not too bad. We've still got tons left. There we go. We'll just make a couple more. Cool. Nice. I wonder if I can put auto. I wonder if I can do that with my backpack. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, we're just doing something. No, we can't. No, I was wondering if I could auto-fill it, but no. All right, so we've got a nice little home for our chocobos to just run around and chill out and feel happy. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Now, we need to also supply them with one more thing, and it's the reason we left this little hole at the back. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to grab one thing that we found while we were venturing, which is this guy, our cauldron. And we do need to grab a bucket. Yeah, we do. And we're going to go and fill this guy with a little bit of water. And luckily, we got quite a bit of it down here, so we'll just grab some of this. All right, so we got all our water. We're looking pretty good. So let's go down and throw our cauldron on the side. Yeah, we'll do it just there. Fill it with a little bit of water so they can have a sip and a drink. And, you know, this is all they need. They just need it to just to make them happy, you know, that little bit happier. Give them a little bit of respect, you know, a bit of privacy. Yeah, every chocobo loves that. Now, oh, chocobo. I keep saying chocobo. It's from my youth. From my youth. Now, okay, right. Let's go and uh, make a few more things before we really kind of get cracking with this. And I'm going to throw my bucket back. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to put my shield back down here and we'll throw this in the tool section. Get rid of some of these guys because that's how we roll. Yeah. And uh, miscellaneous can have some of you. Blocks, you can have a bit of dirt because you're a bit dirty. There we go. And fence, you can go in here in miscellaneous. Good times. Now, what are we going to make? Well, we need to make a couple of things to make the... Uh, to be able to look at our chocobos and understand them a little bit better. Now, the Geishal Greens are going to be used for taming them. But we're also going to need ourselves some... Ah, uh, sugar cane. Yeah, I knew I went and got some. So we're going to turn this into some of this stuff. A bit of paper. Yeah. And we're going to grab a bit of leather, which we should have around here. Yeah, we do. And we're going to make ourselves a book. Bam. There we go. Now, have we got our chocobo feathers? I don't want to... Yeah, there we go. You have no idea how long it took me to get these guys. <laughs> you can you can tame them and grab them that way because basically they'll like, poop them out. But to get them at, like really any other way or quickly, you have to go around murdering chocobos, which isn't very nice. But I did it for the uh, I did it for the video. I did it for the video for you guys. I did it for the fans. Now let's go out and we're gonna make ourselves one of these guys. We're gonna make a chocopedia. And to do this, we need all these guys. So we do need insects, gold, and a bit of lapis. So let's go grab these guys as well. So we'll take a bit of gold. We needed some lapis. There we go. And we need some ink sacks. Have I got ink sacks? Yeah, I got a couple. Cool beans. All right, let's go throw this in here. It might do it for me if we're lucky. Nope, didn't want to. <laughs> now we'll throw a book in the middle. A little bit of lapis. And then we'll throw down some of these chocobo fevals. Oh, there we are. Oh, damn. I need to make my gold nuggets first, don't I? I'm jumping the gun big time. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, let's try this again, one last time. So we'll put you there, we'll put our ink sacks on the side, we'll put a golden nugget, just like that. And then our feathers, and a lapis. Yeah, Chocopedia, brilliant. So this guy's awesome, we can uh, click on the chocobos once we've got them, and uh, it can give us some uh, good information, and uh, we can also tell them to do certain things with it, which is quite nice. And it is getting a little bit dark out there, so I think I'm gonna put my dodgy music back on, and have a little sleep. Well, we come back and we're going to go get ourselves some choker bows because I know where there is one that's been hiding out this whole time, just chilling, and we're going to go tame him. He's going to be ours. Now, is there anything else I want to make? Hmm. Yes. Why don't we make a choker bow saddle? That sounds pretty cool, right? So, it says here there's two ways of making it. So, we can either do a feather and a lever, or a feather, lever, and string. And I have no idea which one will, which one actually works. So, let's just uh, try and do both because maybe the uh, lever. And the then the feather would be easier, but I don't think that would work. It just seems too 
Huh. It just seems a little bit easy to me, but all right, we'll take you. Now, I think we are ready to go doing this, guys. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and do this. Oh, okay. I forgot my sword. Brilliant. Now, Choco Bows, here we come. Got my Geishal Greens. Oh, yeah. Now, there has been one lurking around here for the few episodes, and I remember um, we scouted him out on, uh, on the first episode, I think, when we was running around. So he's around here somewhere, just chilling out. There he is, yeah. I think we killed the other one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a couple, and I think we killed it, which isn't very nice. And I'm just gonna go grab these. Because there is, if you guys don't know, when you're actually farming these, even though you get the emerald bits, which is quite nice, uh, you can, which is very, very rare, but you get a chance of getting an actual seed dropped from one of these guys, and you can actually plant your own patch. So what I want to do eventually is uh, finally get a seed, although I've never had one, and it's been a long time, but I want to create a big garden of these guys, and then we can just run through and get all the emeralds and spend the emeralds on stuff, because I don't actually know what we can do with emeralds in this. Maybe we can do something. Hmm. No, it doesn't really look like we... Uh, maybe we can? Can we... Oh, we can make an Emperor's Chalice. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah! Make an Emperor's Chalice. That would be pretty cool. Can make some Altar of Lights. Oh, these are all these are all Xeno's reliquary things, really. Uh, a silky jewel, that's pretty nice. A storage capsule station and a reinforced emerald chest. Yeah. Alrighty, we're getting off the uh, subject a little bit. Let's go uh, snag ourselves a chocobo. So once you find one of these guys, you always get the yellow ones, and they kind of live in the wild. Like I say, they spawn where... Oh, some feathers. They spawn where uh, the guys will green spawn. So if there's no guys will greens, there are no chocobos. Now if you walk up and give him a bit of loving with a guys will green... Oh, damn, we didn't manage to tame him. <laughs> well, that was a fail, wasn't it? Let's go grab some more. I remember there was some more around this somewhere. Hmm. Well, maybe they're back at our house. I might, I might have to go grab all the ones that I planted. I didn't want to go doing that. I remember there's some more around it somewhere. But, yeah. Once we've tamed him, he uh, doesn't need taming again. Uh, there are a couple of ways that you can untame them accidentally. But, uh, yeah. Where are you guys? There we go. All right, you're coming with me. All right, and let's replant because that is uh, that is the right thing to do. Yeah, there we go. We got five. Wow! Every time I've done this in like a test world, I've uh, it's only taken two. So hopefully he's only going to uh, take a couple. Yeah, there we go. Take all these guys. Cool beans. Right, let's go back over and, and find our little uh, yellow friend. Now chocobos in general are uh, good as they are, but. You can get much better ones, so if you've ever played uh, Final Fantasy 7, and, uh, well, really, Chocobos are kind of a main uh, character through most of the Final Fantasy series, but Final Fantasy 7 kind of uh, supports them the most. And what you can do in Final Fantasy 7 is you can breed them. And if you breed them, you can get different coloured ones, and different coloured ones do different things. And that is the same in this. So if you breed them and you get different coloured ones, there we go. He's been tamed. Look at him. Wow. So let's go click on him with our Chocopedia if I can catch him. There we go. Now, this guy is called Lightning, I think. It's a female. It can breed. Brilliant. The owner is me, Simonel. Yeah. And uh, we want to set him to follow. So you want to come with me, Lightning. Come here. Come with me. Yeah. Come along. There we go. There we go. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Yeah. Now, let's go and saddle him. Have I got my saddle? Yes, I have. Bam. There we go, we're on top of our chocobo. Nice! So we can walk around, do our thing. These guys don't actually need to jump to go up blocks, which is quite nice. You just kind of walk up them. And then we can run around and jump and... Yeah, that's what it's all about. But the main thing that we want to do is we want to breed our chocobos. So if we put him in here in his little den and he can stand next to his, uh, next to his little water bowl. There we go. Oh, and we jump off. And he's gone in the roof. That isn't good. Come here. Come here. I keep getting, oh, that's not good, yeah, maybe we can't get off him when he's in there, but if I just give him a little nudge over there, there we go, yeah, don't face the wall like one of those special children, come around this side, come around this, no, 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 you're gonna kill yourself in a minute, aren't you, there we go. When we're in this place, you can go ahead and do some pretty cool things, so the chocobo at the minute you can see has 30 out of 30 health, and if we give him a little, uh, a little gentle nudge, there we go, and we give him a second, you should see that his health goes back up, hopefully. Come on, do your healing. 
you're in the place where the heals can happen. Or maybe he needs to be next to his water a little bit more. There we go. He's healed up and good as new. And that will only happen when they're on our they're a straw with their little with their little water cauldron and you can hear him making his little noises. That means he's really happy and he's just gonna face that wall because that's I think he's I think he's a little bit frightened of us. You know, he's never really had much human contact, so he's kind of just chilling in the corner. But that is alright. Now, we do need to find more chocobos to be able to breed them. And if we breed them, then, we, like I say, we can get some uh, different types. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, I see more over there. Let's go and uh, see if we can get these guys. I haven't got another saddle on me, but I'm sure we can just get them to follow us. And then we can try and get them to breed. Yeah, i got a good idea about this. So you, come with me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Be happy. And uh, we'll go and uh, use our Chocopedia on him again. There we go. And this guy is called, and he's a male. Yeah, that's good. So this guy is called something Puffs. <laughs> Mr. Yellow Puffs. There we go, Mr. Yellow Puffs. And you're gonna, uh, you're gonna come with me. Right, come here, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you the time of your life <laughs> in your little stable. Come on, come on. I would ride you, but I haven't got a saddle. Now, let's bring him over here, and you can see uh, Mrs. Chocobo, Mrs. Chocobo, lightning, yeah, and uh, we'll grab some more of these guys, come down here, don't be, don't be afraid. Now, let's put him on stay, there we go, and I'm going to give him a little nudge into his pen, but look at them right next to each other, oh, are they happy. Alright, so if you want to breed your Chocobos, then you need to use a couple of things to do this, so you can either use what are called, uh, you can use lovely lovely guys greens or you can use yourself some golden ones now to acquire these there is actually no recipe for it it's a bit awkward actually because if you go around a lot of the wikis there is actually different versions of this so some of them do actually have recipes but the one that's currently in hex it does not and uh, to make these you uh, have to actually grow them so what happens is you throw down your uh, gaishu seeds just like this and then uh, you will have a chance, a random chance of it growing into a, uh, a lure of your one. So let's knock these down and see if we can get one. I've already got one. You can see right here we've got this lure of your one just here. And I'm just trying to see if we can get one more. Because we do need two before the little guys are going to breed. So let's try and do this, see if we can get some more. Oh, there we go. I think we've just got another one. Brilliant. Yeah, we got two. All right. Okay, let's replant these guys. And see if we can get our guys to breed. And hopefully, just hopefully, we can. Now, I might actually want to put a gate on here. Hmm. Just in case we uh, <laughs> we get a friendly little guy running off. I don't know. He might not run off. We'll see. We'll see. Right, let's try giving him these guys. There we go. And hopefully, they'll do a breed. And there we go. We have a little, uh, we have a little, uh, I can't remember their name, Chikabo. There we go, a baby Chikabo. Check him out, just stood there, he's on his little thing. And uh, let's see if we can get him to like us. I don't know if you have to feed them these things. Yeah, there we go. Cool, right, so if we put our Chocopedia on him, we can get him to uh, follow me. And uh, his name is Duke. Oh, nice, look, it's little baby Duke. And he's he's kind of stuck a little bit. Is he on follow? Yeah, he's on follow. Come here, Duke. Come here. Come here. You gonna follow me? Or are you stuck? A little bit stuck in the wall. Alright, so you're a little bit stuck. <laughs> Maybe I'll just give you a little give you a little push onto the ground. Or you just you're gonna yeah, you're gonna stay in there, aren't you? Maybe I can just break this for him. There we go, dude. You can go in your pen. Yeah, there we go. You go in there. You go in there. Go on. I don't wanna hey, I don't know if I if I'll kill you if I hit you. <laughs> I don't want to try. I mean, if I just put this background behind him, he'll just, he'll just go in there. Yeah, there we go. He's in the corner. He's a little bit scared because he's, he's, oh, there we go. All right, now he's following me around. <laughs> Come in here, little man. Wow. He likes to go mental, doesn't he? Wow. All right, so once you get these little guys, there are a few things there you can do. So you can either leave them, and eventually they'll grow into a, a proper chocobo, and you might be lucky and have some sort of mutation, but normally mutations actually show in the colour of when they're when they're uh, born, which is completely random. 
unless you use the uh, golden Geishal Greens, in which chance you're uh, pretty much uh, positive to have yourself a mutation. And mutations will show themselves in the colours of the chocobos. So you can get red ones, you get green ones, you get gold ones, you can get loads of different ones, and they all have different traits. And there are actually a few that you cannot get via breeding. You have to uh, actually force them to, ch to change, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you have to force them to do something, and I haven't actually figured out how to do that yet. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll figure out together, which is pretty good. So let's get this little guy to uh, sit still, because he's going a bit mental. There we go. And he can stay there. Brilliant! Alright, so I think we've done it for today. We've got ourselves a little chocobo family. We've got Lightning, Mr. Yellow Puffs and Duke. And they're going to uh, sit down there in their little kind of home and just relax until we decide what we want to do with them. Now, I do want to breed them to get some other bits and bobs, which would be quite nice. But in the meantime, we can at least get some feathers from them and uh, we can let Duke grow into a, a proper a proper chocobo. Now, uh, one last thing before we go is you can actually get these guys to... Oh, it pooped out a feather. Yeah, we can actually get these guys to turn into regular chocobos. And to do that, you need to give them one of these guys a Geishal Cake. Yeah, which would be lovely for him. It can uh, chow down on that and it'll turn him into a big one. Now, another thing that you can actually do is uh, you can actually get these guys to stay as uh, Chikubos. But um, it's a certain type of one that you need to use. And I think it's called a Cheek something. There is a, there is a certain one that you use and it basically makes them stay as uh, Chikubos, which is pretty cool, isn't it? You can keep them as little babies for as long as you like. Um, and that way they'll never grow into a big choker bone. You can get a little horde of them following you around. Yeah, that's always good. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. We've done a bit of uh, ch ch chocobo training. Yeah, a bit of chocobo training. It's all good. And in the next episode, we'll uh, finalize that a little bit more. Maybe try and see if we can get a different type of chocobo. And then we're going to uh, ride one into battle. And oh, they pooped another one. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll ride another one into battle and uh, go attacking all the bad guys and take all the loot. That sounds like a plan. All right, guys, I'll see you soon for another episode. Have a good one and goodbye. <laughs>